David Peterson, publicdomainphotography.com, number one source for free images on the web. I'm going to show you today basically the anatomy of a lens, the exterior anatomy of a lens. Obviously you've got the lens cap, pinch normally, remove, that's just a protective layer, should be on all times when the camera is not in use. Now you can see here, this, there's a thread that goes around the outside of the frontal element. That is a filter thread. You can apply neutral density filters, ultraviolet filters, um, but you, a, a range of filters. If you want to check the size for your filter, it's normally um, indicated on the side of the lens. Outside, you have a filter lens hood mounting groove. You can see there the groove, that's where your lens hood mounts to on and off, just normally a twist on, twist off, great on bright sunny days. You've got the lens specification markings, this one's an Olympus uh, Zuko Digital 12 to 60 mil, um, and then you've got a F number of 2.8 to 4. This is the focusing ring. You use this a lot more in manual photography. Have a feel of it, make sure it's smooth, it's working smoothly. Then you've got your zoom ring. Obviously it zooms in this particular case. Prime lenses obviously don't have this. Should be operating smoothly right through as you go. Here you've got your distance indicator. Starts from infinity. You've got imperial and metric system. This can help you when you're making your decisions about the right start and setting up the scene. Um, obviously it depends whether you're shooting in manual or auto mode. Um, each has got its advantages and disadvantages. The bottom bit you've got the lens mount. In this case this dot lines up with a dot on the camera. You've got contacts, you've got your rear and you've got your rear element. Okay guys, that's a brief brief introduction into the camera lens anatomy. The only thing that's missing on this one um, that you'll often find on um, other lenses that don't have the cameras without built-in image stabilization is an image stabilizer switch and they're usually located uh, within the, the body of the camera. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you at publicdomainphotography.com.